Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you're having a very good day. So for today's video, I'm here to do my book and movie review on The Invention of Hugo Cabre, and this is by Mr. Brian Selznick. Let's get started with what this book is all about. Uh, so our main character is Mr. Hugo Cabre, and we find him living at the train station. You'll find all about his backstory and why that is within the story. Uh, but yes, the story is set in Paris in 1931. Hugo, who is at the train station, he has a very big job at hand, and that's maintaining all of the clocks because of course we know that trains must run on time but you'll soon find out that Hugo has a bigger task at hand and that is repairing this automaton that was left to him. This automaton has a lot of sentimental value to Hugo and Hugo believes there is a message awaiting him once it's all repaired. So Hugo is trying to find the gears and the materials to put him back together and that's pretty much a quick synopsis of what Hugo is all about. Hugo devoting his time to fixing this machine and hopefully finding the message he he's been waiting for. Next guys, let's talk about the characters within the invention of Hugo Cabre. So the characters, not gonna lie, it took me a while to warm up to these characters, even Hugo. Hugo, he is quite mysterious. There's a lot of secrets surrounding his character. And so when he encounters other characters, he is quite defensive. And you know, I don't blame him because it's a survival mechanism for him. It wasn't until halfway into the book that I was really warming up to Hugo. Another character, Isabel, she is a bookworm and she has a very strong personality. Both Hugo and Isabel, they have both strong personalities and it was really interesting to see them go head to head with each other. They're quite stubborn. It was really great to see their relationship develop and change over the course of the book, so I thought that was really great. Another favorite character of mine is Papa Georges, uh, who is the godfather of Isabel. He runs the toy shop within the train station. I thought he was fantastic. I thought Papa Georges' character arc was just lovely and it was quite complex and very moving. So those I would say are the three main characters within the invention of Hugo Cabre and a lot of flaws to these characters which makes them more identifiable I thought. The invention of Hugo Cabre combines illustrations as well as his written story as well as film within the book as well. So I thought that was really great. I thought the illustrations within the book are just fantastic. I love the detail and cross hatching and the style of illustration. I thought it's just beautiful. Beautiful. And the progression of the illustrations makes it feel like you're watching a movie a little bit, which I thought was really cool. And yeah, I thought the written story was great as well. There's a point within the story where it gets very moving and thoughtful and lovely. It's like, wow, that's deep. I really like that. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to give the invention of Hugo Cabre four stars out of five. You know, it took me a while to get into the story and to feel for these characters, probably about halfway. It's like, where's this story going? I don't understand. But towards the middle and the end, it was just really great. A lot of story development and a lot of character development I thought was just really great. And with Papa Georges, I thought his character arc was fantastic. Next guys, I want to do a quick movie review on the movie adaptation Hugo, which was released back in 2011. I believe yes which stars Asa Butterfield he's alive oh my god the last time I saw Asa Butterfield was in the boy in the straight pajamas cried so much during that movie oh my goodness those two boys I love them but anyways I'm talking about Hugo yes Asa Butterfield as well as Chloe Mortez and of course Mr. Ben Kingsley who plays Papa George's first let's talk about the acting I thought Chloe Mortez who played Isabel was really fantastic she pulled off a British accent really well I thought and as far as Asa Butterfield you know there were some more dramatic moments that didn't quite get me but I thought for the most part Asa was a great Hugo and you know his relationship with Chloe's character was really great to watch as well as his relationship with Ben Kingsley character Papa George's was really great to watch as well and Ben Kingsley oh my gosh he was so great in the film I loved him especially when the film flashback to Ben Kingsley's character and his past I thought that whole part of the film was just looked fantastic and he was great in it and the other actors I forgot to mention Sasha Bear Jared Cohen, who plays the train inspector, I thought he was fantastic to watch. Lots of great physical comedy, um, would really appeal to the children who are watching this film. For the most part, good job actors. Very nice. As far as the set design and the costume design and the cinematography and the direction of photography, 
fantastic. I really love the look of the film. The story is set during the winter time, so when I was watching the snow scenes outside, I thought it's like, oh, this would be really nice during the winter, and really made sense when this uh, film was released during Christmas time. It's like, oh, this is perfect. Definitely during the holidays, so emotional, pulls at the heartstrings. The set design looked lovely, really captured the 1930s era. Same with the costume design. I love the fashion. During this time period, it's just mm. Next guys, let's talk about the book to movie adaptation comparison. I thought it was a great adaptation. I really, really liked it. Maybe just a little bit more than the book. Not gonna lie. I thought the characters in the film were a lot more likable, whereas in the book it took me a while for me to warm up to these characters. Even the train inspector and other side characters who were not so nice to Hugo, they are played up in a very nice light, I think, in the film. And I didn't mind that, actually. I really like how Sasha Baron Cohen portrayed the train inspector and you really felt for him. You know, you sympathize and empathize with him more. So as far as the characters, I like the characters a lot more and a lot faster within the film. My only thing thing was that I felt the film was kind of long. I felt the film was lengthened a bit too much. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to give the film Hugo starring Asa Butterfield. Four and a half out of five stars. The look of the film was really great and really captured, you know, the essence of the book and the story really well. I just felt the film was just a bit longer than I would have liked. So that's everything, guys. That is my book and movie review on the invention of Hugo Cabret. I didn't realize that this story, The Automaton, was based off an actual automaton during this time period. I was like reading the end and what inspired Brian Selznick and it's like, are you serious? There was a thing that worked and it's like, what? Of course, it's much more complicated and sturdier than the automaton in the book. But I was blown away that this was actually based on something that was created way back then. I was like, really? I thought this, what? Yeah, so I thought that was really cool. Anyways, guys, that is everything. I will talk to you later. Have a very good one. Bye.